This is Bangladesh. Hello and welcome to Open Tierra. Today we're delving into the vibrant tapestry of Bangladesh. Did you know that this country boasts a rich history dating back to ancient kingdoms? Stick around as we uncover fascinating facts about its past and its people. Bangladesh is located in South Asia surrounded mostly by India, except for a short southeastern frontier with Myanmar. Two-thirds of Bangladesh's area constitutes fertile alluvial lowland formed by the Ganges Brahmaputra River Delta. Crisscrossed by hundreds of rivers, much of the country is prone to flooding. Bangladesh has a tropical monsoon climate, with mild winters and hot, humid summers. Heavy seasonal rainfall causes rising rivers and flooding every monsoon season. Land areas comprise mostly flat, fertile plains, rising to the north and east towards the Garo and Assam hills. The capital and largest city is Dhaka, with over 22 million residents in the metropolitan area. Other major cities include Chittagong, Kulna, Rajshahi, and Silhet, each with populations over half a million. Dhaka and Chittagong are important commercial hubs, while secondary cities serve as regional economic centers. The early history of what is now Bangladesh saw Hindu and Buddhist kingdoms ruling the region starting in the 6th century BCE. Through medieval times, Muslim rulers established control. This leads us to the colonial era, beginning in the mid-1700s. The British East India Company gained control over Bengal in 1757 after the Battle of Plassey. This solidified Britain's commercial and political power in the region. Britain expanded their domain to include territories across the Indian subcontinent in the following decades. The state of Bengal, under British rule, emerged as a centre of economic, intellectual and political life in India during the 19th and early 20th century. However, tensions simmered over economic inequality between Western and Eastern Bengal. West Bengal was the centre of British administration, commerce and industries. Comparatively, Eastern Bengal was seen as lacking economic development and opportunities. The partition of Bengal in 1905 sought to separate the two regions to better administer the unwieldy province. However, the partition was short-lived after strong public opposition. In 1911, Bengal was reunified into one province. Nonetheless, the economic and political inequality continued between the now divided populace of Western and Eastern Bengal going into the independence era. This ultimately manifested in the partition of 1947 as the Muslim majority East Bengal became East Pakistan, while the Hindu majority West Bengal became part of India. The tensions seeded decades before. Partition continued to impact East Pakistan's relationship with West Pakistan after 1947 as well. By 1970, the Awami League led by Sheikh Mujibur Rahman had a majority following in East Pakistan. However, when the West refused to hand power, civil unrest erupted. In March 1971, war broke out leading to Bangladesh declaring independence. After a bloody liberation war, Bangladesh emerged as an independent nation in December 1971, when the Pakistani army surrendered. Sheikh Mujibur Rahman became the first prime minister. Today, Bangladesh carries on the heritage of its distinct language and culture. Bangladesh has a massive population, being the eighth largest country in the world by population with the total resident population of Bangladesh standing at about 170 million people. The vast majority of Bangladeshis descend from Indo-Aryan and Indo-Dravidian settlers who moved into the region over 3,000 years ago. The largest ethnic group is Bengali, 
comprising 98% of the population. The remainder are clusters of tribal groups and Bihari immigrants. Islam is the predominant religion in Bangladesh, making up nearly 90% of religious affiliations. The majority are Sunni Muslims, with a small Shia minority. About 8% identify as Hindu, along with very small numbers of Buddhists and Christians. The official and most widely spoken language is Bengali, also called Bangla, which is native to 98% of the population. Many dialects exist across regions of the country. English has increased in usage as a secondary language among middle and upper classes. Bangladesh is a parliamentary democracy in South Asia. Bangladesh is a unitary state with a constitution proclaiming it a secular democracy. The head of state is the president, while the head of government is the prime minister leading the executive branch. It has a unicameral parliament called the Jatiya Sangsad. The constitution guarantees human rights and rule of law established through an independent judiciary. However, political instability and interference undermine prosecution, especially of ruling party members. Two main parties dominate national politics, Awami League, current ruling party, led by Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina as party chief. Its political position combines socialism, secularism and Bengali nationalism. Bangladesh Nationalist Party, BNP, chief opposition party led by Khaled Azir, promoting centrist democratic conservative ideologies with some religious backing. Regional parties and few radical Islamic parties complete the political spectrum. Tense rivalry between Awami League and BNP has led to intermittent violence disrupting governance. Despite volatility, Bangladesh's democratic structure continues evolving since independence in 1971. Once one of the poorest nations, Bangladesh's economy has grown rapidly in recent decades. Thanks to market reforms and an export boom in garments, Bangladesh graduated from a least developed country in 2015. Its GDP growth averaged above 6% over the last decade, standing at $460 billion. In 2022, major industries include textiles, jute, leather goods, pharmaceuticals, ceramics, and electronics. Two-thirds of exports are garments shipped globally. However, the economy faces hurdles from infrastructure gaps, inequality, and climate change impacts. Poverty still affects roughly 20% of the population who live below the national poverty line. Bangladeshi cuisine is known for being rich and flavorful, using many fresh vegetables and spices. A staple grain is rice, usually served with curries and lentil dishes. As a riverine country, fish is also very popular and an integral ingredient. Some signature Bangladeshi dishes include Ilish Papa or steamed Hilsa fish, Shorshi Ilish or mustard Hilsa curry, Makher Jol or fish curry, Bigan Bhaja or fried eggplant, Dal, Bhaji or fried vegetables, Shingara or triangle samosa, and rich mutton biryani. Desserts are also a key part of meals. Sweet treats like Ras Malai, Roshogolas, Mishti Doi, a sweet yogurt, Rajbog sweet delicacies, and more are widely consumed. As Bangladesh is renowned as the land for mangoes, the succulent fruit features heavily during summer months. And no Bengali meal is complete without round unleavened flatbreads like roti or luchi served alongside dishes. With influences from Northwest India, Central Asia and the Middle East fused together Bangladeshi food culture is unique in its very particular and poignant flavors that have evolved over centuries. The trademark spicy, sweet and cooling blend makes Bangladeshi cuisine so iconic to the region and the nation's cultural identity. Bangladesh has a distinct cultural identity that encompasses diverse influences over centuries that blend together 
into the modern Bangladeshi experience. Festivals form an integral part of Bangladeshi culture. Major celebrations involve Pohela Boishak, Bengali New Year in April, as well as the Muslim festivals Eidul Fitr and Eidul Azha. Durga Puja is the biggest event for Hindus. Festivals involve colorful clothing, feasts, fairs and cultural programs. Some widely practiced performing arts include classical and folk music and dance forms. Renowned musicians include icons like Abbasuddin Ahmed, while folk performers like bull singers carry spiritual musical traditions. Distinct dance forms include Manipuri and Kathak, inspired classical styles. Bangladesh is also acclaimed in the visual arts domain, reflecting its aesthetic and cultural sensibilities. This includes historic art forms like Nakshi Kantha embroidery, as well as clay pottery, wood carving sculptures, and vibrant painting traditions using natural pigments. From weaving dreams on canvas to spinning lyrical tales with ragas, storytelling remains central to the Bangladeshi art scene. The country's deep creative roots continue to branch out in different directions while retaining their essence and identity. If you enjoyed this video on Bangladesh, you'll love this next one.